ask what is America? White folks, black folks, Koreans, Latinos. Are we Americans? Are we the corporation? What are we working towards? What are we working for, if so? What are the benefits? Are they going to take care of me? Will I be able to feed my family? We can define hope. The fear that something may or may not happen. We gotta work together, it seems, and that sounds great. Without an understanding of what that means, it just leaves us looking at what it is and defining. It just leaves us, period. Land of the free, and the home of the slave. Surviving. The Negro is free. Do, do, do. Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Imperfect Women of God. I'm missing my stuff. All right. Um, so today I'm going to talk about America. You know, um, I guess a lot, I find it. It'd be so funny when I read the comments. Sometimes. I wouldn't even say funny. I find it interesting when you read the comments and you see people be like, "Oh, I didn't know it was homeless people in America." Like I think they think that other people in other countries think that America is like this place where you just make lots of money and it's just like woo, magical land or something. Like no, it's not like that. Um, America is a place where you know it's America, you know, of the slaves, America of the greed, pretty much. Like money runs this world, and if you don't have a lot of money, you pretty much are not gonna have a you know awesome life. I guess people would say. Um, you won't be living in nicer areas. You'll live in areas where bad, I wouldn't even say bad things happen, where a lot of people are living in poverty and they'll tend to steal and do drugs and do things that are bad because they feel at the bottom of the totem pole, I guess you would say, like white people be saying, you know, that saying, I guess, you know. But, um, yeah, me personally, I'm not one of those people that races or anything, but. I know how it is to struggle and not have much, but I never been one of those people that <clears throat> hate other people because they have money or be jealous of other people. Even when I was young, I never been one of those people that's just jealous, like, oh, they got a nice house in a car. I'm upset, you know. In this world, it's it's full of greed, and I don't want to. I always pray and ask God to like uh, in a way to cleanse my heart every day so that I don't feel the need to want money. Cause I feel like that's going to be uh, everyone's downfall at the end of the tunnel. You know, before they die, they're going to put money before the Lord. And I don't want that in my heart. I don't want to wake up and be like, oh, you know, I don't want to die knowing that I was just being a, I guess, a slave to money and a slave to my sins. You know, it goes both hands because most people that are slaves to money are usually slaves to their sins also because they are doing things to make money which is sinning and doing bad things to make the money you know and um that's just the world we live in you know and yeah this song i'm playing wait a second i i think people know him um a lot of people know him i think he was in Atlanta, like on sunday or something you know it's raheem divine you know raheem yeah most people know him He's cool people. I mean, his song, well, that's the only song I know for sure I like. The rest of the songs are very sexual, but, you know, some people come out with those good uh, conscious songs that have you be kind of like, oh, okay, you know. Um, you know, he talks about some good stuff on it. And he has a little rapper on there. I forgot, Jock Prell, Rob Brown. Yeah, I like him. You know, he's very deep and he's just raw, you know. Talking about how he doesn't, you know, let the world corrupt his kids. Because a lot of people let the world just corrupt your children and turn your kids out. You know, you let the world, you know, get your children. You know, they take your kids and they turn your kids out. Got you over there, slave for money. And before you know it, you all going to hell. You know, you don't want that situation. You want to pray up on your kids and your family. Because the devil is after the youth. The devil, matter of fact, is after all the generations. Let's not just say it's the youth. It's the whole generations. And it's like people are just so oblivious to it, you know. Living in America where everything is about that money and greed. And then, like... The superstars sell that to us. They sell us the money and the greed, and it makes us hungry for it in a way. And um, I wouldn't say me per se, but I'm just saying it makes people just hungry in this world, you know. And then like the um, pressures, the pressures and the things society puts on you, like oh, you gotta have a car, you gotta have all these nice things in order to show that you are doing something with your life. Like if you don't have a car or money or material things, it's like oh, you ain't doing nothing with your life. Because you don't got no money or no material things. Oh, you don't have a degree, so you're not doing nothing with your life. 
But this is America. This is what we live in, where people just put all that pressure on you, and they and they plant that in your brain at a young age. Like you got to go to college, you got to make money, and all this stuff, and you got to have a four hundred one k and stuff, and all that. All you have to do is save enough money to where you can take, you can retire early. That's pretty much it. It's not even that deep, people. And then it's like people don't even know about credits. I'm like, you know, you gotta have forty credits to, in order to uh, retire. And people are like credits. What? I didn't even know you supposed to have credit. Yes, people in America, you have to have forty credits on your Social Security account. Make your Social Security account. Check your credits because you might already have all your credits. And then you'll be good to go. And pretty much, you can just say start saving up or, you know, find something to do to uh, make residual income if that makes sense. And that's just how I see it. But me personally, I don't. You know, it's not like the first thing on my list. Um, me personally, I'm a simple person. I'm just a, you know, a nice little, maybe, a, I like a loft. I don't like apartments. I like lofts because they're more airy, I guess, to me. They're not so stuffy. And I like how the floors are. You know, apartments, mm, not so much. Not my cup of tea. Or just a small house. I'm not, I never one of those people that want a big old house with like five kids in a big house. It's like, no. People be doing too much. They be wanting, they want too much. I think what happens is the wanting that, like I tell people, you got to be careful of your desires because your desires can become idols in this world of America. And I'm, it's, a, it's a lot of, you know, idolizing and idols going on in this world where people are just looking up to someone. If it's even YouTube, YouTube is making people look up to people and look at them as this perfect person or, oh, she's a virgin. Like, people get jealous or they look up to that person or I want to be that person. It's like, can you? I just want everybody to be their own self. And I feel like a lot of people aren't trying to be them own, their own self. They keep trying to take from someone else, take from what somebody else has told them to do, you know? And not being who they truly are meant to be, which is a unique human being that's not operated by following other people's and being idolized and idolizing other people. It should be who you really are and not coming off as this perfect individual. And, you know, a lot of Christians are, like, afraid to even show that side or let people know that they used to sin. Like, I'm finding that out, too, in America, you know. When it comes down to the religion, there's so much separation with the religion. It's like, it should only be one true religion. It even says that in James. But I feel like it's, like, it's no one true religion on earth because so many people, it's so many religions and everybody thinks there's right. Nobody wants to go outside of their church and fellowship with other churches because they, because they feel as if they're going to have a back and forth war thing going on where it's like you wrong and you wrong. And it's like, again, this is how America runs. It's divided by religion still. Like, it's just ridiculous. You would think the, the main thing that will bring people together would be religion and God. But it's feel like as if it's not. It's like tearing people apart. And people are not seeing what they're doing. And they're attacking Christianity left and right all the time, you know. With the Ariana Grande thing or whatever. Oh, she touching, he touching her boob. And you see how them Christians are? Like, trying to drag us as usual. And, like, they do that on the comic session, which I think is funny. I'll be laughing. Like, I'm sure people probably will see my comments one day. And I'll be cracking up when they be trying to go in on somebody. I'll be like, you not going in on me? You're not going in on that person. Like, I'm one of the people, I'll protect somebody else. You're not talking to her crazy, okay? Okay, that's what you're not doing. Because I'm not going to let somebody be disrespectful with someone. Like, you need to shut up about your Jesus talk. You need to go somewhere with your negative energy. That's how I feel. Like, do not be negative towards me or anybody that I feel as if are trying to do some good on earth. But you're trying to crucify them. You better go sit down somewhere and have several seats. Because I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm one of those people, you're not going to be disrespectful because you want to live in sin and go to hell. Don't sit here and get mad at somebody else to bring somebody else to the light. Stop trying to cop block. You know how you're blocking somebody? Stop blocking folks. Now, that's the same. I don't know where I got that from. That's, that's horrible. But, you know, stop trying to block stuff. You know, it's ridiculous. This world we live in, America, it's horrible. You know, it's not the land of the free, so I'm not sure where they're getting that foolishness from people. Um, I'm, People that from other countries, if you see this video, that's, that's a lie they tell, man. America is not the land of the free, more like the slaves, I mean, honestly. Because we all just work ourselves to death for material things and pay bills, pretty much. I feel like bills, in a way, are a trap. Because it's like, it makes you go to work every day. It's like you don't have no kind of freedom because the bills are always there, freaking, like, in your face. I'm like, you can't. That's, now I see why people are doing the van life thing because it's like you you don't have that need to want to pay bills once you have van life and they're trying to like banish that 
in America also where you can live in vans and not have to pay stupid bills all your life. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Well, of course, you know how America works. They want to get mad because folks have found their way out. <laughs> I think it's funny. Me personally, I would get a van, go move to Alaska, and never come back over here again to Georgia. Honestly, that's how I feel. But hey, that's just me. And I think I, I'm one of those people I can be by myself and I won't go mentally insane because I'm not one of those people in the need of being around other people all the time. You know, I'm more of an introvert. I'm not an extrovert. Extroverts, they have the, they have to be around other people. It like it bothers their soul. You know, they have to be around people all the time. It's like, oh, okay, I get it, but you gotta learn how to function by yourself, okay? Because in this world, you're gonna die by yourself, so you gotta learn how to do things by yourself. You know, and whether you like it or not, a lot of people don't like doing that in America. Also, a lot of people in America do not like being single. You know, they're very desperate for relationships, but they won't even work work on themselves in the process, you know, because this world, it like thrives off relationships. Every time you watch a TV show on like America, TV shows is always freaking romantic all the time. It's like they're trying to plant that in your mind, like go get a boyfriend, go have some sex. Like it's like always relationships, relationships. I can never watch a TV show without it's some it's either some girl on girl action now, some boy on boy action, or it's always some like lovey dovey crap. All the time it's like, dang, can I just watch the show? You know, we can't even watch shows in America no more because it's always sexual all the time. Listen to sexy music all day. That's all they play is sexy music all day. It's like, oh, this is America, people. I mean, it's just sexy all day. I don't like it. Yes, I'm rambling. I don't like it. I mean, it's sexy music all day. Like, can we have some music with some substance? I have to literally have my play my own playlist. Because I like to listen to some positive energy music that actually talks about something. Okay? Because all this booty shaking, let's have sex with everybody, orgy type of nasty crap, I'm not okay with. Okay? You nasty as hell. Okay? Yes, sex is good, but sometimes y'all gotta learn when to tone that crap the heck down. Okay? And learn how to just... You know, go meditate on some Jesus music, okay? And some gospel, okay? And go sit your butt down. Cause if you listen to sexual music in America, you're going to want to have sex. And it is what it is. And I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat that because people want to lie and stuff. Trying to sugarcoat some mess. And like, are you serious? And then the rap music, oh my God, it's so, ugh. People love them some rap. They just thrive off that stuff. All they do is talk about horror, sex, and money. What the freak? It's like they're planting that in your brain. And then before you know it, you start wanting some horror, sex, and money. I mean, come on, people. Do y'all see what they're doing? It's not even funny anymore. I mean, it's, so, it's, it's America. This is what we live in. It's, it thrives off greed, money, lust, sex. I mean, pretty much it thrives off all in general desires in America. And I'm sure, and the craziest part, I think, is going on in the whole world. I don't think it's just America. It's other countries doing the same stuff we're doing. But the thing is, I don't think it's even music or technology is going on in those countries. I think it has to do with just straight up just sins going on in the whole universe. A bunch of sins and desires. And it's just, you don't even need technology to do these things. You can do this stuff without even watching TV or watching all this crappy stuff they have these days. It's nothing to watch on TV, you know, Now I see why the older people say that. In America, it's not really, not much to watch on TV. It's like probably a few TV shows, but after that, it's like, it's stupid. I don't, America stuff is like, sometimes you'd be like, come on, America, do better. It's like all they do is throw off drama. Every time I look on YouTube, it's drama, drama, drama. Look what this person did. It is so irritating. I'm like, can I watch something normal? Like, why is it always someone got shot? Someone did something. It's like people thrive off of drama in America, too. And it's like, it's getting old. It's like, okay, yes, yeah, she slapped a girl. Like, why are y'all fighting? Like, people just violent in America, too, also. And it's not even on no black stuff. It's like white people are violent, too, in whoever it is, okay? So, all this is black people. No, no, no. White people may not be putting their hands on you, but they know how to get in your pockets and get into your mental. You know, it's a different way of attacking someone without putting their, well, your hands on them, if that makes sense. You don't have to put your hands on somebody to hurt them. It's a way of hurting someone. And I'm sure people are like, yeah, they be killing up, you know, um, daughters and stuff and all that. And I'm like, that has to do with cops and racism at the same time. But I'm saying like white people just in general, like walking on earth right now, like not cops or anything. 
Like they mess with your mental, your pockets, you know, that's how it works. But it's like all like I tell people, all white people are not racist and again in America we have this racist war and it's like whew. You have like the I guess you would say religion war and then you have like the racist war and it's like so sad because you would think that religion would be the the safe haven for everybody to come to, to come together and actually, you know, vibe off each other but it's not people just like no you wrong look at my bible and it's like oh my god like we're supposed to be just having one religion but we can't even do that it's like america people in general we cannot get along for nothing and it has to do with all these sins we are creating on earth too it's like it's making it very difficult for all of us to get along now I see why God is going to make a new earth because I'm starting to see what is he doing, what he's going to do and what, how, why the heck he's going to send people to hell. I get it now. It is what it is. I get it. I've accepted the situation. A lot of people don't want to accept the fact that most Americans might go to hell. It is what it is. But what's going to happen is like you, God going to still give you a chance. It's crazy, right? Because that's how God works. He's going to still give us a chance to choose him. You know, he going to give you seven years, though, of pain. And then in, in the midst of those seven years, that's a revelation, by the way, in the midst of those seven years, then you can choose him. So either way, you won't be suffering, okay? So you either choose him now, right? So then you ain't got to suffer or suffer and then choose him. So I don't, again, that's a choice for us as people. But this is America. This is what we live in, you know? Yes, there's a lot of, I guess you would say, cop on cop action. I guess you would say... Killing people, it keeps happening over and over again. It's so tiring. It's getting to the point where it's like, you know, this is the world we live in, right? You gotta dodge bullets now, you know? Everybody wears some bullet poof uh, things. What's come laughing like this? People be laughing like it's funny, like, oh, you're crazy. Hey, hey, you wear some bulletproof uh, things on or something, you know, dodge some bullets. This, this is the world we live in. Unfortunately, I live in Georgia and we don't really have a lot of that cop stuff. I mean, yeah, here and there, but it's not that crazy compared to other states. Like, I feel bad when I watch other states and it's like worse in other states. And it's like, why is it worse in that specific area? It's like they're purposely trying to purge black people. And it's like, like I tell people, it says in the Bible, like people don't even read the Bible these days, but you know this is the world we live in right this is america um they think they know everything but um in the bible it says you, you can kill somebody you know flesh or whatever but you can't kill their soul because their soul is going to go to the lord so it's like god is going to make a new earth and i think people keep trying to like ignore the fact that god is going to make a new earth one day and you might not be here if you keep that mess up so it's like I feel bad for the superstars and stuff out here too because I feel like they're the main reason why so much corruption also because they, they spread so much negativity with the music. And it's like, why would you want to be a part of something that is causing a lot of pain and corruption in this world? I would never want to be a superstar and I'm sitting here causing all this pain with this negative music and energy that you bring. Talking about killing folks and whores and sluts. Like, I would never want that to come out my mouth and just make it into music. But... It's like when you want to sell your soul, again, your desire becomes your idol and you do bad things. And like I tell people, it's never too late for anyone to find the Lord in America. It's just that people are blinded by their sins and money. Oof, money is like the number one on the list. <laughs> and greed. Oh my God, you got the money, the greed. Okay. That's pretty much what's going on in America right now, honestly. You got the money, the greed. Oh yeah, then you got some people want to idolize things and fame. I think that they should go together, honestly. You know, and this is the world we live in. It's like, it's ridiculous. So I just like to inform people and stuff like that because they feel like coming to America is going to be like peaches and cream. Then you have people that are racist towards um, immigrants. They Yes, they are. And it's Americans that be doing that. They're very racist towards immigrants and get mad because they feel as if they're taking their jobs. It says in the Bible, you're supposed to be nice to immigrants. You're supposed to be nice to your neighbors. You know, people don't want to be nice. They're upset. They're like, oh, you're taking our jobs. First of all, Americans, okay, let's like be realistic here. Half of y'all don't even want to work because I know because I live in Georgia all my life. I live in America. I'm here. I'm breathing it. Some of y'all don't want to work. So it's like, let's not act like we actually want to work because y'all don't want to work. Some of y'all don't want to work, y'all. Y'all want to get that fast money because in America, that's all you see is, you know, these gang bangers or what do you call it? People that are just so quick to get money by doing bad things, and you want to do what they doing. You don't want to get a legit job and work your way up. It's kind of difficult for some people to do that. Like, it's hard for them or something. It's kind of sad. It's like, 
This is America though, this is what we live in. That's all I have to say, so sad, right? I'll be looking up to the sky because I'm trying to make sure a guy, you know, you check me on some stuff or if I need to actually have a deep thought about something, but yeah, this is where we live in, people. Protect your kids and pray for your kids, man. I don't know why I keep telling people this, but I keep seeing a lot of foolishness going on. Pray for your kids and protect your kids before the world gets your kids, if that makes sense. American people, please, like, raise your children and stop going to work every day. Never went around your kids. People, this, the world is raising your kids. You don't want this world to raise your kids. Like, this world is wicked. Like, let's be honest. It's not a good world. And people, it's good people now. But it ain't no good world. Don't sit there and sit there with a straight face and say this is a good world. You can't walk around here in peace no more. Folks shooting and stabbing. Do y'all see there's so many stabbings going on? It's not even, God is letting us know that it's getting real out here. And that you should, like, get it together before your time is up. Because they just stabbing folks. Pushing people off stuff. It's just, it's getting out of hand. And this was actually in Georgia. Like, uh, one person, I guess this homeless person was on drugs and pushed this lady onto the train. I mean, tracks or whatever. And yeah, they found him. He looked like he was just as crazy as the next one. That's why you don't do drugs, man. That stuff mentally, like, psychologically messes you up. And then, like, weed also, people are like, oh, weed is good. Weed was made, weed is made to heal, you know, things. Heal things in your body, you know, if you're sore or whatever. It's not made for you to smoke every day. Because, like, at some point, if you keep doing something too long, it's going to have a bad effect on you. Like, you need to, like, it's good for you, but just chill out. You don't got to smoke it, no, every day. Like, I know it's an herb, but, like, don't push it. And the craziest part is like, we are supposed to be like for medicine, but people are going to prison for it. In America also, I forgot to talk about prison. Oh my God, just throw that in there right quick. Um, the prison situation is starting to get to the point where, well, I have a situation where one of my family members might be going to prison on some realness. Um, and the poor child young. And it's so sad because it's like, his mom, it's a lot of women out here these days that are single moms, but it's some people out here that just, honestly, I'm going to be real with you, some people just aren't meant to have kids, right? Like, they're not meant to have kids because it's like their mental is not there, if that makes sense, you know? And then what happens is that the world starts to raise your children because you're not, you're not mentally there, I guess, in a way to raise that child. Um, and a lot of people tend to just have kids because they want love, but they don't know how to love themselves. So it's kind of hard for them to love that child, if that makes sense. You can't reciprocate or whatever they call it. You can't give back something to someone else if, I said that word so wrong, but <laughs> you can't, you know, you can't give love back to someone else, you know, if you don't love yourself. And a lot of people are having kids that don't love themselves. That's why I always hope, I always, I think that's why I haven't had kids yet or wanted to have kids or not saying I never put myself in situations where I could, but, because I'm not perfect, but. I always make sure I had, you know, uh, I guess birth control, but I'm not birth control any of that crap anymore, but still, it's like, I never put myself in that situation because I know that I'm not in the situ position in my life to where kids should be here. You know, I, I always, I'm always, because I guess my mom raised us, we have children, you cannot be selfish, and we have children, you can't just think about yourself, like, I want somebody to love me and all this stuff, but you can't even love yourself, like, let you learn how to love yourself first have the children but in this world again we live in a world where people have kids out of wedlock and people have kids and not married and a lot of people are just giving away their kids and this is America this is where we live in and what happens is the world starts to raise your children and then like they become criminals and things like that and because of those deep depressions and the demons they're fighting every day and you know, prison is not like it used to be. You know, jail. And, I wouldn't even say prison and jail never been good. Who am I kidding? Prison and jail never been good, but it's getting to the point where like they just throwing anybody in jail now. Oh, you got weed? Oh, you got to go. Oh, you breathing wrong, nigga? Oh, you got to go. Like they just throwing everybody in jail. Matter of fact, I <laughs> they throw people in jail. That's all I know. I personally met a cop that was like racist. I guess you would say. But I, I didn't let him get to me, you know, because you don't let negative people. I learned at a young age, don't let negative people get to you. I think me being bullied made me more aware that people are crazy in America. Yeah, people are crazy. Okay, they will bully you. They're mean out here. They're vicious. And it is what it is. You know, some people are just, they're at your jobs just being straight up just nasty. Like, 
The only job I can say I ever went to that I never had no negative things happening or people being bullyish is actually Chick-fil-A. I know it's crazy. It's like, what? Chick-fil-A? That's the only place I ever been to that I went to Chick-fil-A and never had an issue. These people were actually normal as hell. I mean, like, <laughs> legit normal people. Wasn't being bullies, you know? Um, it just, it sucks because it's like prison and jail, like, takes so many years from your life, man. It's so many wicked people in jail and then you get out it's like you're not even the same anymore and then it's kind of hard to transition once you've been in prison and jail for so long and it's so sad and the veterans out here are a lot of veterans also are out here homeless and people don't want to talk about that either way i know i just hopped into the situation but i just thought about that a lot of veterans in america are homeless just want to inform people on that too um and that just, and it pisses me off when people sit there and want to celebrate the uh what do you call it the army day where you know you celebrate the people that were in the army but you won't even like show no respect to the veterans that basically gave half of their freaking 20 years of life you know for other people and out here homeless like don't show no respect like folks out here are veterans they out here homeless in in america and people just like hoo, 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 hoo. this is the world we live in because we're all programmed to be selfish human beings and only care about ourselves and only fend for ourselves and never fend for other people. I feel like I'm one of those people like if something bad happened in the situation or if I see something bad happening, I will like go in and try to help because that's just who I am as a human being. I'm not going to sit there and allow someone to do something wrong to someone else. Like, and then also, you know, sometimes my anger gets to me. Because it's like who wouldn't get angry at the fact that someone just trying to do something wicked to someone? Like, hey, chill out. Why you? Oh, you know, this is the world we live in, people. This is America. Um, this is the world we live in. Is where we get thrown in jail for petty stuff. Where we get killed for just being black. And it's sad. And it's like, I don't want to go into a super duper race type of situation talk because, you know, people get riled up from that. And then they'll sit there and start dragging white people in the comments. It's like, <laughs> chill out. Like, we didn't come here to drag people in the comments today, okay? Positive energy, okay? We know the world is a corrupt, hot mess, okay? People are going to keep killing us whether we like it or not. They do not like us. We cannot force people that do not like us to like us. I feel like that's what Martin Luther King did in a way. Like, yes, he brought us together so that we can work, I guess, be in the same, I guess, place and stuff. That's cool. I get it. He did what God put him on earth to do. And it was time for him to go, unfortunately. But then after that, what happened is it's like you're pushing, making them, making Pacific people accept the fact that we're in their circle of life that never wanted us in their circle of life. And then what's happening is that they're reacting to so many years of, I guess, in a way in their brain, torture of dealing with black people when they never really liked us from the get-go. If that makes sense, people. You can't make somebody like you. That's what I learned also when I got bullied. You know, you can't make people like you that don't like you. And, and usually people be like, they have no reason to like us. Well, why they don't like us? Because our skin, what we do to them? That's what bullies do. That's what people do that do not love themselves. They will not like you for no reason. Okay, we'll try to kill you for no reason. And that's just what, that's what the world we live in. This is America, people. Like, come on. I'm just trying to open some eyes. I feel like people are so blinded by it and they want to be so, like, closed off about it. I'm not saying sit here and be straight up just racist to white people in general. I'm saying be more aware of the fact that they do not like us. And you cannot make somebody like us. Now, 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 there's some good white people out here that actually do like us. But the ones that don't like us, be more aware and not be so, like, closed off about the situation. With the Starbucks situation with the white lady, them black people knew that she did not like black people. But yet they kept, they kept ignoring it. They didn't complain about it. You know, they just kept, you know, like black people do. We will tend to, like, push things off and not say nothing until something bad happened. You know? And that's all I got to say. This is America, people.